A Wellington father says he is outraged after his son is murdered and the boy's mother is charged. Clint Blancet says he begged for help, telling authorities the boy's mother was unstable. Takes Deb Ferris here with details from our I-Team investigation. Deb. Well, Susan, Clint Blancet filed a report with the Department of Children and Families in May saying his ex-wife and mother of their two children was neglecting little Caleb. He says if the state had listened, his son would still be alive. I didn't see this coming. I didn't see her killing my son. But Clint Blancet knew something wasn't right. In May, he rushed to the school to pick up his son, Caleb. I got to my son, and he had an abscess tooth, and he had a... This poor face looked like the size of a softball, and she hadn't done anything. So I picked him up and threw him straight to the hospital. Lindsay Nicole Bland said had primary custody of Caleb and his nine-year-old sister. Clint says he immediately filed a neglect report with the Department of Children and Families. They basically said, they sent me letters and that they found no reason. They found nothing wrong. They found nothing wrong because they didn't investigate. A report from DCS says it found no substantiated neglect. Just 24 hours before Caleb's death, Clint Blancet went by the house to see his kids' new puppies. Police were there to arrest him on an outstanding warrant. But according to Clint Blancet, the officers also questioned his ex-wife's mental stability. We're here to tell you that we think your wife has a mental problem. Well, no, she has a mental problem. I've been telling you this for months. And, oh, well, she needs to seek help and this and that. That was the last time he saw his son alive. There's no doubt in my military mind that my son would be alive and well today. <laughs> to the state of Kansas, give it a shit about me. DCF records show it has investigated alleged neglect at the house three times in the last two years. The most recent was just last week, days before little Caleb was killed, when Lindsay Nicole Bland said filed a complaint worried that her kids were being sexually abused. DCF was still investigating that case at the time of Caleb's death. Clint Blancet says at no time were the kids ever removed from that house.